There was a, a group of scientists that were speculating that it's po- you know, panspermia, the idea of panspermia, yeah, yeah. that it's possible that octopi had come from somewhere else, some frozen eggs had actually come from somewhere else and, and landed on Earth. And these were like legitimate scientists who were contemplating, not morons. So panspermia doesn't have to be unlikely. Right. I mean, for example, you sure. might have seen the other day we found an Earth rock on the moon. Yes. Right, well, they, well it's back yeah. on Earth now because the Apollo right. astronauts brought it back, didn't they? It was four billion years old or something like One that. One of the oldest rocks ever found. Yeah, the thing is that the octopus is still extremely similar biologically to us. I mean, the differences are negligible. Yeah. So it's still got the same energy system with the single ATP and DNA and all that stuff. It's all very, very similar. They're not that alien. They're they're very similar. Well, they're in their abilities. I mean, their ability to transform their outer texture and their color almost instantaneously. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have incredible camouflage abilities that really don't exist in the the mammalian world. Yeah, but on a cellular level, you look at an octopus cell Mm -hmm. under a microscope and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Right between an octopus cell and a human cell. So the only way that that would make sense is if all life comes from basically the same kind of building blocks and just varies depending upon the conditions and where it takes place. That's the only way it can be done, given the given the building block, the toolkit, the laws of nature and the, the elements and so on that we have in our universe.